I really got into uh, my photography uh, back in 08. Uh, I was diagnosed with uh, colon cancer, and uh, I just thought that it was a good time to take life serious. How do you see photography as taking life seriously? Uh, well, just really taking in uh, everything around you. Uh, you know, the nature, especially nature. Nature's so beautiful, you know, uh, and it's so, so relaxing. Photography is really relaxing. How has it, so it sounds like you're saying it was almost therapeutic for you. How, how could you describe how it was therapeutic for you? Uh, just, just simply coming out here and uh, uh, not feeling no pressure. Uh, just having a good time, just having fun doing it. Mm -hmm. And uh, enjoying it and uh, sharing it with uh, other people, making other people happy. Tell me about the, the reaction of other people. How how are what what do people say when they see your work? Uh, well, the first thing they I see is a big smile on their face, and uh, that I, I really enjoy. I really enjoy making people happy with my photos. I uh, uh, a, a lot of them tell me that I should be out there selling my photos, which I've, I've started doing. So. I think your mother's complaining. Yeah, she will. Dad'll be along pretty soon. Dad now. Well, they have three of them up here. Well, they had three, I only see one right now. Tell me a little bit about the swans. How did you kind of, some of your best work involves the swans. How did you lock in on them? And what about the swans fascinates you? Oh, uh, well, you know, they're, they're the largest bird, the largest flying bird. Uh, they have 25,000 feathers. And uh, just really basically the size of them is what really uh, intrigued me. Uh, they are pretty friendly towards me, at least they are. Uh, I've, I've had the male, which is called a cob, uh, actually come and, and stand right beside me. And uh, uh, the female is called a pen. Uh, she's a little, little high, high strong, you know, but she's always out here to protect her, her young. And uh, 
uh, a lot of times they'll see me right across the pond and, and they'll come come right over to me so, or I can call them and they'll come to me Hey for life uh, usually in the springtime uh, this year uh, with the weather being uh, as good as it has been uh, they were thrown off a little bit uh, as far as their mating the, the babies were born uh, May 1st because usually they're not born until the middle of May and um, I've actually got them three times this year mating and uh, every time they, uh, they, they finish mating they, they perform the heart they make a heart and I've gotten that three times this year also